And coming to you from the borough of Brooklyn, I'm Blake Suniga. Pleased to have you here along with my broadcast partners, Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz. We've got a chance now for our starting lineups. From point guard to center, this game should be a good one. And with these teams, so much talent on offense. You can see the precision they play with. Yeah, and it shows up in the way they move around the floor. Everyone knows exactly where they're supposed to be. It's also in the speed in which they set up their offense. They don't waste any time getting into sets. Now here's Mitchell. Clark outside. The three is up, drains the three-pointer. First points of the game right there. Nice bucket there to get the scoring started. And sometimes, Brian, that first bucket is the hardest to get. Pass to Jones. Hebish, Cole defending. Kick by Jones. And here's Ionescu. And Stewart gets it to go. The incredible focus Stewart has. Even when the D gets physical, she stays with the play. Smith outside. Now here's Clark. Pass to hole. Smith down low. Mitchell. Yes, and it's Nalissa Smith picking up the assist. Well, in the paint, Mitchell's power gives her an edge. She's able to get around at any defender. Sabrina Ionescu from outside. Hole with the rebound. To the inside. Mitchell, Lady Hamilton covering. Pass to Clark. Launches a three. They grab their own miss. And it's Boston missing. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy because nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup. Here's Phoebish. Hole defending. And Hole gets the whistle that time. That's her first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Sabrina Ionescu from outside. Rebounded by the Fever. You know, when you look at Sabrina Ionescu, one of the highlights for her in the offseason, competing against Steph Curry in a three-point contest. That was fun. It was also special for NBA and WNBA fans. The event took place during the NBA All-Star Weekend, and Sabrina held her own, recording a score of 26 to Steph's 29. Now here is Ionescu. Here's Stewart, five on the clock. It's hauled in by Boston. The Fever with the lead. Mitchell outside. Smith outside. Mitchell outside. Clark. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. Yeah, that's a great ball movement by Kelsey Mitchell. Finds a way to get it to her open teammate. Outside, Stewart. Looking to end the run. That one falls, her second basket of the game. She is now two for three. They can't afford to give her that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you have to fight over the top of it. And you need some help as well. Now here's Clark, eight points for her. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Outside, Laney Hamilton. Pass to Ionescu. From outside the arc. Aliyah Boston grabs the miss. You don't want to give up that kind of look often. They're very lucky they didn't get burned. Here's Smith. Mitchell up top. Lane Hamilton covering. Boston with it. Yes, what an assist from Caitlin Clark. The second she got around the pick and shook her man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very well done. Now here's Ionescu. 
Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Well, Jones has a talent for owning the boards. Here she keeps the play alive and finishes it strong. Here's Mitchell. It's a five-point game. Left side, Boston. Oh! And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. One of the areas Aaliyah Boston really shines is on the glass. Yeah, she is an efficient rebounder. And as we all know, rebounds often win or lose games. Then you add in Boston's offensive efforts, and she really is a big contributor to team success. And the first one falls for her. Hey, it didn't take long for Aaliyah Boston to make waves here in the W. She came ready. Aside from the accolades she racked up in her first season, her team just plays better with her on the floor. She's a spark plug out there, and it seems that the team goes the way Aaliyah goes. She is a force at the 4-5 position in this league. And that one falls, so she hits both of them. And we're close to reaching the 30th season of the WNBA. What a milestone. And the stability we currently have, it's just so important. The league is in a great place. Plus, guys, it's, it's continuing to grow. Yeah, the W is on very solid ground. And as you said, Tim, I think we just keep getting bigger. Now here's Mitchell. Soft touch off the glass. Yeah, good job working it down low and getting the high percentage look. New York trailing here. They really want to find that igniter here. That's right, their offense is ground to a standstill. Maybe you need to suit up, Tim. They need a spark. And she converts the layup. Stewart's presence down low stems from her skills and finesse. She's something to watch and something to admire. Now here's Smith. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Pass to Samuelson. Back to Mitchell. Now Smith to the paint. Here's Clark. In the basket for the fourth time from the field, and she is a healthy four for six. And that'll raise their field goal percentage even more. They're enjoying a big edge in that category. And that's because they've been playing smart basketball. They've been very patient offensively, and their shot selection has just been great. Such a high IQ on this team. Now here is Ionescu. Stewart up top, fires for three. Good on the triple. Well, Stewart doesn't hesitate when she gets a look she likes. She gets her feet set quickly and shoots with confidence. On the wing, Kelsey Mitchell, covered by Ionescu. Caitlin Clark with the three. That's in there. Kelsey Mitchell with the assist. Only took them a few seconds to answer the three ball at uh, one end with their own. A three-point battle starting to take shape here. Now here's Vandersloot. Pass to Peebish. Yanescu. And again, it's the Liberty from deep. Well, it looks like that last three definitely got Yanescu's attention. She goes to the arc with a purpose and drains the answer. Here's Mitchell. Clark. And the fever hit again from deep. Oh, I think she, she owes the three-pointer dinner because it's been her best friend today, no question. Well, it has been today anyway. I mean, look, most of her points have been courtesy of the deep ball. Back to Stewart. Rebounded by the Fever. Six-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Clark. Mitchell. Clark, Vandersloot defending. Mitchell outside, goes up from the top of the key. And it's Brianna Stewart with the rebound. The defense can't make a habit of giving her that shot. She just doesn't miss many. Of it. And that does it for the first quarter. The Fever on top, they're up by nine. And we'll bring you the start of quarter two.
And welcome back. It's been all one-way traffic through the first as the second quarter gets underway. And what stands out to you from the fever in this one? This team's on the same page. They're right where they need to be on offense. Yeah, they're on the same page, the same chapter, you know, whatever you want to call it. And they're hitting their scorers right when they need to, making scoring just easy for them. Man, it's been a rough few years for Indiana. They haven't been to the playoffs since 2016. Single-digit wins in five of the last seven seasons. But the good news is the Fever have loads of young talent, starting with Caitlin Clark and Aaliyah Boston. They have arguably the best young core in the W. Back to Wheeler. Boston outside. Beyond the arc. Offensive rebound, Fever. Tries again, and Wheeler finishes inside. This has to fire her team up. When Wheeler hits the offensive glass hard, she's capable of hurting you. Pass to Burke. Vandersloot. Kick by Jones. Now here's Vandersloot, guarded closely. Here's Burke. Started by Wallace. Number three, Kayla Thornton. Bag Ben Lay with the rebound. The Fever with the lead. Here's Wallace. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Got a piece of it. Pass to Samuelson. From past the arc. Rebounded by John Paul Jones. And the Liberty with possession here. Vandersloot with it. He's guarded by Boston. Vandersloot, shot is good. Well, Vandersloot is just fearless. Getting past the inside contact and getting to her finish. Now here's Wallace. The three. Seeks the triple. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass up. Now here's Vandersloot, guarded by Wheeler. Out to Vandersloot. Offensive rebound. Jones, no good. The possibility here of pushing their lead into double digits. Mentally, that would give them even a bigger edge. Outside, Wheeler. Samuelson outside. Pass to Wallace. There's the three. Score the basket. Her second of two attempts. What poise from Wallace behind the arc. Finds an angle and focuses on it. New York calls timeout. And in 2023, the Liberty made their long-awaited return to the WNBA Finals. It's crazy to think about it, guys, but that was their first trip to the Finals in 21 years. And despite it being the Liberty's fifth Finals appearance, still no titles. Incredible when you think this is an original WNBA franchise and the amount of stars and Hall of Famers they've had over the years. Ionescu outside. Gets it to go from downtown. Zero hesitation on Ionescu's shots. She's pretty much got it all picked out so that once she gets the ball, 
He's automatic. Mitchell outside. To the left wing. Left side, Boston. Six to shoot. And it's out of bounds to the Fever as Indiana retains possession. Substitution on the court. And just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Clark. Rejected by Jonquel Jones. A strong shot blocker. Jones is able to stifle shooters by positioning herself skillfully. Outside Stewart. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight shooting night. Another high scoring night for Stewart between her skills and really her mentality. It was like she was engineered to get buckets in this league. Let's go. And another basket for Indiana. She's been key for them, the way she's distributed the ball. No doubt. Uh, look, when the offense runs through her, it's smooth operation. And guys, this is something we were just talking about off the air, but Caitlin Clark is one of the most hyped basketball players that we've ever seen. Yeah, and we're not just talking about the WNBA. When you talk about the most hyped rookies, I think you probably have to go back to 2003 when LeBron went first overall. Basically, it's going to be really fun to see how Caitlin Clark's career goes. Clark outside. There's the triple. The rebound by Brianna Stewart. The Liberty Trail. Inescu up top. It's guarded by Boston. The shot by Inescu, no good. And these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assists. When everybody's involved offensively, it's in a way helping you defensively too. Inside. Here's Jones, and that comes off the assist by Courtney Vanderson. A premier interior scorer, Jones's physical presence is enough to intimidate defenders. Time called here, the Fever decide to talk it over. There's so many tremendous players in this league. Who do you think gets overlooked? Well, it might be weird to call a former MVP underrated, but Neka Blumike has been playing at a high level for a very long time, and I think she deserves more recognition. And I'll take Kelsey Mitchell. For years, she was carrying that Indiana team by herself offensively. Now, she's certainly got a lot more help. So it's Indiana now. They held a 12-point lead earlier. And here is Mitchell. Clark outside. Just five on the clock. A fever rebound. Pass to hole. To the middle. Here's Mitchell. Sabrina Ionescu with the rebound. And it's New York's ball. They trail by seven. Outside Stewart, now Thornton. Back to Stewart. Out of bounds, it'll be Fever ball. The ball goes to Indiana. The Fever making a switch here. So it's Indiana now. Mitchell with it. Smith outside. Back to Mitchell. Clark over Ionescu. Releases from the wing and drills it. She is setting this place on fire. Her shooting has been off the charts. And this Liberty team, of course, features Brianna Stewart, John Quill Jones, and Sabrina Ionescu. How about that victory? One of the best we've ever seen. 
Stewie and Jones are former MVPs, and Ionescu could win one pretty soon herself. This is a loaded roster. Master Clark watches it, drills it from outside. Three's going down quickly at both ends. What an answer. You come at me with the three, I'm coming right back. Everybody gets a three. And here is Stewart. Here's Fibish. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. Fades and shoots. Stewart. Jones. Aliyah Boston with some nice defense there. Now here's Mitchell. Shots good by Clark. And she's definitely making her presence felt here in the first half. She has been just incredibly effective so far. Outside, Stewart. Aliyah Boston grabs the miss. Mitchell outside. Clark. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and she'll shoot one more at the line. One second left. Unable to get that one to go. And that concludes the first half. Beaver ahead. They lead by 14. And don't go away after the break. We'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. And get ready for the fan half-court shot. Drum roll, please. They're measuring up the shot. Welcome back to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the final two quarters. And how about this? We're seeing a tremendous game from Caitlin Clark. Her decision-making simply flawless at it. Nothing but quality shots from her in the first half. She wasn't forcing anything. Yeah, but I think here in the second half, they may want her to be a little more assertive and start taking more shots, even the tough ones. And the basket by Ionescu. And Ionescu never seems to get rattled on the court. The shot clock was winding down, but she didn't care. Pass to Smith. Here's Hole. Mitchell. Clock at six. Now here's Clark from downtown. Hits the three-point bomb. Well, sometimes you have a player like Mitchell, she draws so much attention and allows teammates to get open. Drafted back in 2018, Kelsey Mitchell has spent her entire career with Indiana. Yeah, and the Fever have yet to make the playoffs with her on the team. It's made Kelsey really overlooked. Quietly, she's carried their offense over the years, put up big numbers, but was an all-star in 2023. Mitchell, right side, pass the hole. Gets it out to Clark. Mitchell with it. This one for three. And Jones pulls it down. Laney Hamilton on the wing. She's covered by Mitchell. There's Laney Hamilton using the post moves to get the two points. That's what has to happen if they're going to turn this one around. She has to take charge. She's been a little hesitant. To, to pull the trigger, I don't know why. Now hole. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to Jake. Clark, that one's good. Nice ball movement from Hull. Terrific at recognizing when her teammates are open. Timeout called the Liberty. There's Lenny Hamilton. Ionescu outside. Here's Jones. It's hauled in by Aaliyah Boston. So it's Indiana now. Pass to Mitchell. Good defense there by Benajah Laney Hamilton. Ionescu outside.
three-pointer. And again, it's the Liberty missing. And it's the Fever Ball. It's a 14-point game. Mitchell outside. Pass to hole. Clark outside. Shot clock at six. Mitchell, Wayne Hamilton covering. And here's Melissa Smith for three. The shot that time, not on target. Yanescu outside. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have passed. From deep, and she's good on the three ball. Can't give Yanescu any airspace from downtown. If you do, she'll torch you from there. Pass to Mitchell. And here's Cole. Back to Mitchell for three. Cans it from downtown. Strong response from Mitchell. One of the sweetest shots in the game. Kelsey has a great release. And guys, we've heard so much about Caitlin Clark, but Brian, why don't you give a scouting report to those who haven't gotten a chance to see her play? Well, she's an incredible passer. She's got limitless range, and I think she's underrated as a defender. From the Fever, we're talking about a franchise player to build around. Well, there's lots of ways you can build a team. What do you think is the best route, Tim? Well, optimally, you want to draft and develop but that's tough to do because it's hard to find rookies in second year players who have a major impact. So you need to have patience if you want to draft a developer. Yeah, so I like the teams that make smart trades, whether it's taking in picks, cashing in for a star. Asset management is the name of the game. Mark outside. Mitchell outside, puts up a three. Smith. And they have their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but still come up empty. Ionescu outside. The tray. Kept alive. Outside, Laney Hamilton. Pass to Ionescu. Back to Laney Hamilton. The mark had a chance there to trim it to single digits. Clark outside. Pass to Mitchell. Wide open look. New York with the rebound. Even without that three ball dropping for her, the defense should have done way more on that last play. Yeah, I mean, the D's got to be better as a coach. You can't stand seeing her having that much space to get her shot off. Here's Stewart. And Samuelson pulls it down. Well, I mean, to me at least, Brian, it looked like it was going to be an easy two points there. You're right, Tim. And she's got some angry words for herself after that miss. Mark outside. Boston sets a screen. Here's the three. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Jacks up a three. Pass to Clark. Samuelson outside. Back to Clark. To stop the drought. Here's Boston. Missed it, even after all those chances. Outside, Laney Hamilton. Pass to Ionescu. Fires from deep. And again, it's the Liberty missing. And here's Indiana. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Smith outside. The three from Kelsey Mitchell. And it's out of bounds to the feet as Indiana retains possession. Substitution on the court. Huh. 
Clark. Fires the three. Bangs home the trifecta. And add another three-pointer to their second half total. They came out of the break dropping bombs and are just not letting up. You love to see that. Now here's Vandersloot. She's covered by Clark. Vandersloot outside. Six on the shot clock. Tries a three. Aliyah Boston grabs the miss. Indiana with the ball. They lead by 14. Now here's Wallace. Defense right on her. Lays it up and banks it in. I'll bet her percentage is pretty high from that range. As we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. The Fever on top, up by 16. And we'll have the... Come on, fans, it's the and we're fourth rolling fourth here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. And here is Mitchell. Here's Fabinlay. Back to Mitchell. Let's go with a three. New York with the rebound. Well, most games she can hit from deep, but this game, it's not there for her. Ionescu has it. Working on Dantas. Laney Hamilton, that one's good. You didn't have to slow down at all. That lead pass was timed perfectly. Samuelson outside. Mitchell. For three, connects from three-point range. She has really deep range. Mitchell's offensive game starts with that three-point shot. It forces defenders to pick her up at half court. Pass to Ionescu. Let's it go from deep. Drops in the tray. How about that for a response? We'll give you a three, and then we'll take it right back. It's turning into a three-point contest. Samuelson outside. Here's Hole. Let's the three five. The shot is good on the assist from Katie Lou Samuelson. A textbook feed to Hall, who was all set up, ready to shoot. Andrew Slude outside. Pass to Laney Hamilton. And again, it's the Liberty from D. Perfect screen there. Set her up to a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to the test. You want to see more effort there. Back to Mitchell. Takes the three. The shot off that time. Well, maybe she thinks she can shoot her way out of this cold spell, but I don't think that's the case. Someone tell her it's time to give up the three. Ionescu outside. And a miss there on the triple. Mitchell with it. Samuelson. Lady Hamilton covering. To the inside. Here's Fabinlay. Great pass to set up the land. And her defender straight into that screen to open up the lane to the hoop. Outside, Lady Hamilton. To the paint. Indiana foul. Timmy Fabinlay. First personal foul. First team foul. Well, New York won that 2020 lottery, and their prize, man, it was a great one. Sabrina Ionescu. Well, she was the first piece, right? And she endured some tough times. But her talent and overall play helped attract Brianna Stewart, John Quell Jones, and other key players. No good on the second free throw. And in 2023, Melissa Smith led the WNBA in defensive rebound percentage. You know, defensive rebounding, it's not a skill we talk a lot about, but it's so important. You end a defensive possession with the board. And Smith, she's as good as anyone at boxing out, securing the glass. Down low. Back to Inescu. It's stolen by Kelsey Mitchell. Pass to 
Adontis. Wallace. Six to shoot. Inside. Here's Laney Hamilton over Mitchell. Laney Hamilton, that one's good. You know, she's done a ton to help this team, but uh, if they're going to come back, she needs to do even more. Here's Mitchell. Dantas outside. Pass to Wallace. Screen by Smith. Now here's Wallace. Lady Hamilton covering. Now here's Mitchell. And stolen by Inescu. Oh, and the fast break for the Liberty. Banked in off the glass. Heads up play to take advantage of the open court. Yanescu does a great job of reading the floor. Here's the Fever with the ball. 17 points was their biggest margin. Dantas guarded by Sobley. Now here's Wallace. She's guarded closely. Hull. Clock at six. To the middle. Here's Mitchell. Yes, and it's Damiris Dantas picking up the assist. It's great to see Dantas continue to develop as a playmaker. Her court vision just keeps getting better. Castellini Hamilton. And here is Thornton. Foul oh! call that time on the way up. And that will give her two chances at the free throw. Second team. And it's going to be on Melissa Smith. The first free throw is good. Well, Kayla Thornton loves these freebies, and she's able to contribute a lot for her team. Both teams will make substitutions. Now here's Mitchell. Pass to Clark. Three-pointer. Stewart grabs the miss. Ionescu. New York, no good that time either. Mitchell, Lane Hamilton covering. Here's Smith. Clark outside. Austin sets a screen. From outside, off the mark. I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Look good here, too. I'm as shocked as you. Here's Ionescu. He gets it to fall, and that makes it just a single-digit lead. That's not fair. I mean, Ionescu has so much skill off the bounce and the ability to put the ball in the bucket. And here is Mitchell. Clark shoots the three. It's good from long range. She's had such a steady hand. And I think watching this game, she's the one responsible for getting them this lead late. Yeah, her shooting percentage is unreal right now. Just so dependable here today. I'm out called the Liberty. outside from the arc and again it's the Liberty missing and it's the fever ball a 12-point game pass to Smith Mitchell Clark left side the three ball and another three for Indiana that just adds to what's probably already an insurmountable lead. I think they'll be leaving here with a win. Yeah, hard to imagine any other outcome than the one that's staring us right in the face. 
Outside, Laney Hamilton. Pass to Stewart. Just five to shoot. Rebounded by the Fever. Great defense right there to prevent one of the best finishers in the league from converting in close. Now Smith. Mitchell with it. To the left side wing. Jalen Clark with the three. Clark. The three-pointer is on target. This is a serious game-clinching run they're on. They are just not backing off, and they're going to close this one out in style. What a surge. Give them credit just to, to finish this one off. Park down low that time and got hit with the three-second call. And they can just dribble the ball until the buzzer. They've got to be happy with the, the effort, the result, the outcome. Great night. W is a W. And so it's the Fever taking care of business in this one. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says an awful lot about this team. Yeah, Blake, I guess they don't need home cooking. Like, you know, you're cooking your mom.